Hello and welcome to the short video where we're going to talk about the one daily task. Now, in order to get your retirement in a year, there's a price to pay, but it's a very small price. And the price to pay is you are not going to be sat on your backside all day <laughs> on the sofa, watching TV, out playing golf permanently all the time. You need to take care of one daily task that can literally take minutes. And I'm going to show I'm going to talk to you about that and show you how to do it today. Obviously, this is a condensed video, okay? I don't wanna make it seem easier than it is, but once you get into a groove with this, it certainly can be, and I tend not to spend that long doing this every day. Uh, and we have a great support group if you wanna use that as well. That's completely optional, right? So I'm gonna talk, talk you through this. So let me share my screen real quick. Again, no income claim. I, I'm gonna say this a lot, you know, I, don't, I'm, I can't make income claims, okay? Uh, not allowed to, um, and it's not right to anyway. Like I said, I don't want to oversimplify this, and yet I'm not going to say it's always easy, but it can be simple. Okay. So, Robert Kiyosaki here talks about the four kind of stages uh, of income. First of all, people get employed, right? And that's that's where most people are, and that's absolutely fine. Once you kind of realize that your, your pay is limited, most people then look to be self employed. They want to get free. Uh, from the job they're realizing that the company they work for is making a profit off their work so people then go self-employed but basically you own a job right you, you just own a job the better step is where you move over to the passive side now we've got the shortcut here but it's not completely passive right i'm gonna you, you'll see what i mean so you get into big business and you've got people working for you. Then you've got payroll. You've got people to not turning up for work. Uh, you've got to organize cover when people are on holiday. That is great. It comes with headaches. Obviously, you can put people in to manage that. But Robert Kiyosaki says the sweet spot, and if you don't know Robert Kiyosaki, go and get Rich Dad, Poor Dad, a book called Rich Dad, Poor Dad. The sweet spot is when you become an investor, the I quadrant over there, because that's when you've got money working for you. Now, remember that phrase, you have money working for you. Now, what he means by that is you put in money into investments that will pay you a monthly dividend, a yearly dividend or interest. Now, go and check your bank and see what interest rates your bank gives you, even their high interest accounts. Go and see what they do. OK. Other way of doing this is to uh, buy property and rent it out. So you get the rental income. Uh, but again, you know, honestly, guys, do you think that that doesn't require you to do anything, right? You have to maintain those properties. You have to deal with the tenants sometimes and stuff like that. It can be largely passive, but not totally. It will tend to take up a bit of time for, for people, even if it's just checking your accounts and things. You know, it's not zero is what I'm saying. Potentially it can be. Now I've got, we've, I've got a shortcut, but it's not completely like passive. I want to show you why it's the shortcut. So again, go to your bank, check out the interest rates, see, see what they give you. OK, so if you put, say, one hundred dollars into into your bank, uh, they're probably going to give you something like one percent a year or even less. Right. It's probably even less. Right. The shortcut that we have will enable you to set your own daily, weekly or monthly target. My personal target is three percent a day. That's what I like to go for as my accounts grow. Uh, in different accounts, I bring that down and you'll see why. Right. So if you have $100 and you start with day one with 100 and you get 3% a day, that's the $3 return. You end the day with $103. The next day you start with 103, you get your 3%. You make $3.09. Now, this could be pounds, by the way, euros, whatever, whatever currency you're in. Okay. Uh, we just use dollar symbol to denote currency, right? So, you, but you end the day on $106.09. The third day, now you're making, uh, you, you start with that, and so you're making $3.18. And as you're compounding your account, you can see here what happens is the amount that you make each day that you do this grows. Okay. And the end of 20 trading days is what we look at because we're using Forex to do this, as you'll see. And I'll show you how. I'm going to show you how easy it can be, right? Uh, how simple it can be. You know, you could potentially turn your 100 into 180. If you can do it every single day, after six months, your $100 could actually be worth 1549 but you could be making off the back of that, you know, 60 to $98 a day. You can see how it grows as we compound, compound, compound. Okay, look, eight months in, you could, if you do it every day, 
and you're probably not going to, but you, if you did it every day, okay, then, you know, that could be, you could have turned your 100 into 5,000. If you keep doing this this year, if you started today, this year, a year from now, your $100 could potentially have turned into that. Okay. Now there's a few reasons why that won't happen. One, probably your mindset isn't ready to cope with, you know, making that every day Two, we don't win every trade. And that is a fact. Okay. Uh, three, as the amounts get stupidly big, right? Um, you realize that if you carry this on, there comes a point where you own all the money in the world and that's impossible. So it has a natural way of petering out. And one of the reasons it peters out, do you need to make $2,000 a day to live? No, you don't. So what happens is look, people drop. So what's the amount here? Let's, let's call it 66,000. Let's suppose in, let's suppose in you grow your account. What, what's your freedom number? What's your freedom number? $200 a day. Okay. So if you start with, uh, if you've got 10,000 in there or you grow your account to 10,000, okay, there's $300 a day. As the numbers grow into month three, it gets stupid. Okay. You start getting into silly amounts where you're making like 59,000 a day. It doesn't happen. So watch what happens. Rather than go for 3%, you go for 2% because every trade you take, there's a risk. And if you're, if you're looking to make 200, you're probably risking 200. Okay. So why would you want to risk you know, thousands and thousands a day. So what happens is people drop the percentage as time goes on, because what I'm helping you with is to cover your income. You, you know, you work out your freedom number. What do I need to earn? Okay. To be able to live as I am now, that's all I'm interested in. You know, you probably got commuting costs, take those out. You probably got childcare costs, take those out. You probably got the cost of buying a Starbucks in the morning as you go into work. You got the cost of lunch. You got the cost of social stuff, maybe that you do after work. You know, you got the cost of maintaining your car to get you to work. You got car parking. You know, the, most people actually pay a fair amount to go to work. Okay, so when you're working out your freedom number, don't forget to knock that off. Okay, because those are the things that can pay for any resources or things that you need to help you do this. Right. So anyway, so that that that's the numbers. Okay, that's the numbers. And when, when I say to people, you're probably not going to turn a hundred dollars into one hundred and twenty thousand. That's only the potential. Okay. But if you turned $100 into, well, let's say even, even 5,000, even 10,000, even if you did, if you did one tenth of that is $12,000. And then of course, what happens is the next year, you'd be starting with $12,000. Start with your $12,000, 12, one, two, three. Okay. And straight in there, look, 360 a day, right? So this year is the year to get you free. Okay. So uh, if you are looking at this and you're going, ah, oh, Paul, I haven't got, you know, I haven't got time to wait for that to build. There are other options. If you can kind of master what I'm going to show you now, uh, there are companies out there. One, one of them is called FTMO. You can go and check them out for yourself. But basically what they do, you go and prove to them you can trade and they will give you um, an account to trade on their behalf and they split the profit with you. 70% uh, to you, 30% to them. And you can actually go up to a $200,000 account now. And I believe you can have three of those. So you could potentially trade over half a million with them at your disposal. You can't withdraw it. <laughs> you only get to keep 70% of the profit. Let me stress that. But if you're interested, look, ftmo.com, you can go and check those out. But that's using other people's money, right? Coming back to kind of our Robert Kiyosaki idea, you know, this, this is where you're using other people's money to gain leverage. So how do you do that? How do you, how would you do that? How do I do it? How, how, how come I've got a trade running now that's making me eight pips in profit? Uh, how come that's happening, right? Um, and pips, okay, this, this number here, 7.7, .7 is, is what's known as a pip. So in Forex market, we, you know, uh, we've got New Zealand dollars, Australian dollars, we've got US dollars, Canadian dollars, OK, so what happens is because all the prices are all different and there's, you know, multiple dollars and things, what happens is fundamentally we measure movement in points known as pips point in percentage. So it's like, you know, how many how much percent does it move? So point in percentage, it's known as a pip. One pip could be worth a dollar. One pip could be worth 10 cents. One pip could be worth a thousand dollars. So coming back here, look, we're, make, we're going for 10 pips a day. So on this trade here, I'm, I'm, I've nearly done. I've nearly done it. OK, maybe this will get to 10 on the call. We'll see. Right. It has actually already been over 10, but I'm letting this one run further. OK, so it's come. It's called what we call retraced. But let's just say I'm very happy with where I'm at. I've already locked in some profit. I can't lose on this trade now. Right. 
Uh, will it go to 10? I'll tell you what, we'll leave that down here while I talk you through and you can see if that gets to 10, I've done, I've done this, right? If that gets to 10 on this call, I've done this, right? Um, so, so how do you do it? So this, this is what we do. You, there are multiple places you can go and learn to trade Forex, guys. Okay. A lot of people try for free on YouTube and things like that. A lot of people will go and pay a few thousand on, on and trust me, they do. They are out there. Um, you can go and you can pay 2000 pounds in the UK to go on a one day course to learn the basics of Forex. And then fundamentally what they will usually do is, okay, well, that's the beginner stuff. That's everything you need to be able to go and trade. But if you want the advanced stuff to be able to be more profitable, then we have a, guess what? We have a course for that. And that's only 5,000. Okay. And that's what happens a lot. There are a few other companies, okay, out there, but there's one that provides tools like this, as well as kind of training and education. And that's what we choose to use. You don't have to, I'm just illustrating what I'm doing to, to grow my account and I'm doing it live in front of you now. Okay. Um, so this tool is called Harmonic Scanner. Okay. It's part of the package that we have access to in our trading community. Uh, I'm part of a group uh, where we all kind of trade together. Oh, is that going to go to 10? Come on, 9.8, 9.9, 10. There you go, guys. So on this call, I've done my 10 pips. Okay. So uh, again, I'm letting this one run further. OK, because I, I, I have a good this will this will do more. OK, but I'd already locked in some profit at 10, but you've seen it on the call. OK, I've done I've done my 10 for the day. Close that out. Thank you very much. Job done. OK. And I'm not going to tell you how much I made to, uh, on that, but I'm, I'm not starting with 100. I'm starting with more and I'm further along. OK, uh, I've been doing this for years. Right. So fundamentally, guys, this here, if that D point is at the top, right, we expect the price to come down. So this is a sell. So uh, we can we can see if that is up there, we expect the price to come down, right? Now, the, the question is, you can see I've drawn this line here, look, the price goes up, down, up, down, up, down. How do we know that that isn't gonna come all the way up past that and come down again? And this is where people lose money and this is where they go, oh, Forex, it's so risky, it's so terrible. Guys, it's not. And one of the keys to that is the 10 pip thing that I do. There are other ways to trade, right? There are lots of other ways to trade. I like to get this one trade done and dusted and I'm usually done very quick and my day is done. It's my one daily task. There's another income stream that I'm adding in a way to doing this. And that is from one of our traders now who was actually giving us trades. He actually, put, by the way, the, the, like I say, 10 pips, I've done 20 this morning. Uh, I woke up to 54. Um, that happened while I slept. That is passive. Uh, but I had to set the trade up, which took minutes, two trades, actually two trades took a few minutes. Okay. Um, now, uh, Steve has done 84 pips uh, overnight. He's done that. So again, while he slept. OK, but I'm not I, again. It's true. This is true. <laughs> but I don't want to. I don't, I'm trying really hard not to make it seem easier than it is, because you, you do have to get into the groove of it. You do have to learn a few things. And yesterday, for example, you know, I, I was minus 40 on, on one trade that wiped out pretty much everything I did that day. And like here, I ended up 15 pips down for the day. That's a day and a half a target. But as you can see, I made that more than that back overnight and this morning I'm okay. I'm, I'm back into where I should be. That's the reality of it guys. And that's upsetting. That's mindset. Okay. It's nothing to do with trading. That's just mindset. Yeah. I, I, you know, I've got over that a lot when you're new. Okay. That's harder to deal with. This guy, Rob is one of the, one of the traders. He teaches what he does. Look, so there's 22, another 10 picks locked in. Sarah's a full-time mum. Uh, another quick scalp. Okay. There's me getting 10 again. Um, Cola 25, and so on and so on and so on. Okay. Um, got my 10 pips finally, because that was a slow trade that took longer, but yeah, I don't have to be here. I don't have to sit here. There's Rob again, not 43. Okay. Ninja smart money. That's what I was going to show you. Uh, one of our traders, he, he teaches on a Saturday what he does and he gives us these trades. He gives us these trades like this one here stopped us out by three tenths of a pip and we're only risking 1% of our account. So on this trade here, I don't know what the risk to reward ratio is. I'll show you in a minute, but 
it got stopped out. That means that the trade lost, but he has only risking 1% of his account, right? Um, so if this is Euro NZD, let's go and find his results. These are his results for April. So, so far it's the, uh, the ninth today, he's only done three trades, okay? But they're all set and forget. It takes literally a minute to put that trade in, literally, right? To enter the numbers onto a piece of software, okay? So he lost that Euro NZD we just looked at. Uh, so we've lost 1%. He's lost this one, so we've lost 1%. But this one won and he made 6.93%. So 6.93, Minus 1% is 5.93 minus another 1% is 4.93% account growth on trades that are given to you. In March, this is something we've started introducing for our team, thanks to David, who's, who's the trainer, the trader. Um, these are the greens are wins, the reds are losses, straight pure losses, and the yellow ones went to a certain level before they went wrong, which is where he suggests that you actually take some money and you lock some in, right? So this is the actual risk to reward that was achieved. Um, we're not allowed, well, you can, we're not meant to show you that, okay? Because we don't share, we don't talk about cash and percentage growth because you might come in and do this and you might have got 50% and then you think we're lying to you. Uh, if you make mistakes and you get 1% or even make a loss, you, you know, so don't use this to entice you in. These are the trades though. and. He has every one of them marked up on TradingView. Pretty much, he's missed a few. Okay. The reason being, guys, we're not here to do admin and prove anything. You know, we, we're, we're trading and we're doing our own lives and we do support people. We have, like I say, it's part of the trading group. But where he's missed a few, I think that was over, no, no, it wasn't over Easter. But, but usually he's doing it, okay? But remember, it's an admin job to do for him. So... That's what you could do. Um, and coincidentally, that ties in pretty much with what I said, you could turn $100 into 180. So back to how do we do it? With the Ds at the top, we expect the price to come down. That's a sell. How do I know when to get in? There's a free, a free tool online you can get called TradingView. Uh, this is uh, Euro AUD. We have a, a tool called the Ninja Cater. Okay, our trading group is the Ninja Forex Traders. And this, this group, sorry, this, one of our team, one of our guys, one of our group, whatever you want to call them, developed this tool for us. So can you see where it said Ninja down? That's how you know when to get into the trade. And it's potentially a good entry to get into the trade. And that's what I did today. Okay. I got in a little bit late. Okay. Because I saw the setup. I could see there was still opportunity to get in. As you can see, the price has come back a little bit, which we would expect. And again, this is the sort of stuff that you learn if you want to learn it. But fundamentally, you saw I've shown you live, I got my 10 pips. Uh, fundamentally, I expect that to come back to this line roughly, might go a little bit over, but round about this line, and then come down to that solid line there. Okay, maybe it'll break through a little bit, but round about there, and then maybe come back a bit and then come down a bit, and you know, you see these lines on the, this is called a pitchfork. These lines here, they tell us a story. And you can see how the price has respected these lines before in the past. They would tend to respect them moving on into the future. That's it guys, that's fundamentally what we do. We've learned how to multiply our money. Compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. He who understands it earns it, he who doesn't pays it. If you've got credit cards, you're paying it. We turn the tables on the banks. That's what Forex will enable people like you and me, average people to be able to do, right? That's compounding your money. That's using other people's money to get you there faster if you want to, you don't have to, okay? That's using other people's money. And this is the process. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some videos below this on a typical trading day for me, where you can actually, actually watch me uh, follow through that process. And just to bring this back on how we do 11, 11 pips. I'm ahead of target. I'm ahead, of, I'm ahead of target for the day. There we go. So with that said, guys, and by the way, you see their demo account. If you trade Forex, this is a funded account, guys. Right. So that's why it still says demo. Um, so uh, with that, 
said, I'm out of here. Watch the videos below if you want to know more. Get back to the to, to me or the person who sent you here if you want to know more. Um, and that, guys, is how you multiply your money rather than go chasing new money all the time and how you can use that to retire in a year. Great resource. Catch you on the next video. I hope you enjoyed this. See you soon.